Good morning, Bex the Heath Academy. It is Monday, the 11th of May, and I hope that I find everyone um, well this morning. Now, this week is a very important week, as today is the start of our week four um, class assessments. And these are a really important part of our virtual learning and will give us a really good indication of how you've been getting on in all of those lessons. And Mr. Sparks is going to talk to you a little bit about what to expect from those assessments this week. I'm going to hand over to Mr. Sparks now, um, who's going to talk you through all that you need to know about assessments this week. Mr. Sparks. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Monday the 11th. Uh, just a quick reminder, two things from me, really. And before I talk about assessments, I know that's the first and foremost thing on everyone's mind. Just a quick update regarding the registers. Now, from your point of view, the registers haven't changed. You are still required to sign into every single lesson, and there is a register at the top of every single Google Classroom. That will be slightly different this week as we go into exam week. And on the daily email I send you, there is also an assess a register link on that email as well. When you click on the register, it looks pretty much the same. You still tick to sign that you are into that particular lesson. But you'll notice a series of options that you need to tick as well now. For students at Bexley Eve Academy, we're always accessing our learning via a Google Classroom. So in that drop down list of options, if you just tick the Classroom button and then click Submit, that will sign you into every single lesson. So tick to sign you there, tick the Classroom button and then click Submit and that will sign you in. Do make sure you do that every single lesson. And that's particularly important this week for assessment week as some of your lessons will not take place in a Google Classroom which I'll talk to you about now. So in your daily email from me if you've got an assessment during a lesson it will have the lesson title still for example science and then it will have brackets next to it week four assessment. When you click that link it will no longer take you directly to a Google Classroom instead it will load up a Google form instead and that's the form that you're going to use to complete your assessment. So if you click on the links it takes you straight to the assessment page and you have the lesson to complete that. If you're at all confused, if you go onto the virtual learning dashboard, you'll see that I've updated the timetables on there with those same links that will take you to the assessments. And I've highlighted in yellow on the virtual learning dashboard which lessons are the assessed lessons, just to make it really nice and clear for you. So check your email first of all. If you're still confused, go to the virtual learning dashboard, look out for those highlighted lessons, click those, and it will take you straight to the assessment. So just a reminder for today, key stage three, you've got your science test period one, best of luck with that, and also music period four, you've got your assessment. For our key stage four students, you've got your option, whatever you have period one as your assessment, and one other test later on today as well. And for our key stage five students, your option one lesson, which is period two, is also when you've got your assessment. So look out for those assessments. If you get stuck or have any problems, contact your pastoral manager first of all. And then if you're still stuck, contact your year group lead. And then finally, if you're still stuck, just contact me and I'll be able to guide you through that process. Very, very best of luck with those assessments this week. And I'm going to hand over now. I'm not going to hand over now. I'm going to hand back to Mr Napier now, who's going to talk to you. Thank you. Um, those assessments this week, really important, ladies and gents. And please make sure that you're giving those online assessments the focus um, that they need. And like I said, right at the beginning of the assembly, will provide us re with a really good indication of how you've been getting on with your virtual learning. Just before I hand over to Miss Collier this morning, I do want to talk to you about an important day in our calendar next Wednesday. Now, next Wednesday in the UK is National Thank a Teacher Day. And this is the one day of the year where there is the opportunity for, for us as students to say a great big thank you to all of our teachers and all of the staff that are working in school to support us. And at Bexley Heath Academy, I want to stand side by side with you as our students and say thank you to the incredible work that all of your teachers and all of the members of staff that are supporting you at the moment are doing. And with this in mind, we're gonna join with all of the other academies within AET to produce some pieces of artwork. And Mr. Courtney will provide you with some information about this later today. Um, but I've got a quick example here to show you. So what I'm going to ask as a student at Bexley Heath Academy to do is to produce on a sheet of paper a thank you message to a member of staff of your choice. And that might be one of your teachers. It might be your pastoral manager. It might be someone that's working directly with you in some of your classes 
um, to make sure that you're making the best possible progress. And then what I'd like you to do is on this sheet of paper, design your thank you message. If your thank you is aimed at a particular member of staff, you can mention their name if you wish, and you can mention your name if you wish. And then what I'd like you to do is to get someone to take a photograph of you holding your thank you message. And then next Wednesday on National Thank a Teacher Day, what I'll arrange to do is to share all of those messages with your teachers and members of staff that are working to support you. Um, Mr. Courtney will share some information with you by email later today about what to do with your artwork and your photograph once you've got that sorted. And over the next couple of days, I hope to be able to share some really nice examples of the sort of pieces of work that you're producing. So National Thank a Teacher Day um, takes place next Wednesday. I'm really looking forward to everyone um, getting involved with that. I'm now gonna hand over to um, Miss Collier. Miss Collier. Thank you, Mr. Napier. Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. Coming to you from my dining room this morning, nice and bright. Um, I've got the pleasure of wishing everybody a happy birthday. So I've got the weekend to do as well. And there were quite a few this weekend. So on Saturday, the sun was still shining for you. Um, Millie in year eight turned 13. Francesca in year 11 turned 16. Tara in year 12 turned 17. Megan in year 10 turned 15. And Gianni in year eight turned 13. Moving on to Sunday, we had Thierry in year 11 who turned 16, uh, Emma in year 11 who turned 16, Evie in year 10 who turned 15, and Ella in year 10 who turned 15. And today, only one special person has their birthday today, and that is Alfie who is in year 7 and he is 12 today. Have a lovely, safe birthday today. I hope everybody managed to have a lovely birthday in lockdown this weekend. I hope you managed to get some nice presents as well and eat lots of cake. Um, have lovely days today. Happy Monday, as I said. I'm going to pass over to Miss Mush, who's got an update on our new competition. Miss Mush. Good morning, everybody. I hope you had a lovely, lovely half um, May Bank holiday. Um, the competition that we are looking at this uh, week is to look at um, the recreation of the works of a famous artist. Now, this can be from recreating Madonna and Child or spray painting French bulldog to spray painting clothes to replicate a Banksy. It doesn't matter what famous artist you wish to use for your um, inspiration, but you are encouraged to enter this competition and recreate the works of a famous artist. Please upload your efforts onto the website and we are all looking forward to your fantastic creativity. Have a fantastic day. And now I am handing over to Ms. Townsend. Good morning, everyone. So I am here to tell you about an exciting competition that we have in store for you in your English lessons this week. So starting today on Monday and also following on, on Wednesday as well. It's called the Orwell Youth Prize 2020, and we will be entering the best pieces of creative writing. Um, that could be a poem, could be a play, um, a short story, or even a blog. And that's for Key Stage 3. So I'm talking specifically to you Year 7, Years 8, mm. and Years 9. This could lead to you incredibly being a published writer, and thereby someone I will be a little bit jealous of. Um, on top of that, we also have cash prizes, books for you and for the school. And crucially, you can actually be shaping the national conversation during this new and difficult time. If you can think back to when we were looking at the book 1984 from last week, where Big Brother is always watching you, well, the Orwell Youth Prize is based on George Orwell, the author of that book. He's a writer that has shaped the way that we think today, and now it is your turn. The theme has been announced, and it is the future we want. So get thinking, get creative, escape into your imagination, and who knows, you could be the next Orwell. Do not stress if you think you are not the best speller or even if English is not your thing. 
Okay, I know there are lots of creative and original minds out there and your English teachers are here to help with the rest. So good luck. And I cannot wait to start reading your stories, poems, blogs, and plays. Now I'm gonna hand over to Miss Shallow who's doing some shout outs for exceptional work. Right, good morning all and welcome to week four. It is my pleasure to actually announce today's shout out. So are you ready for this? Right, the very first shout out goes to Charlie in year nine. Well done, Charlie. And this is for your exceptional work in English. Um, the second lot goes to Tanya in year nine, Ava in year seven, and Harrison in year seven. And this is from music. And this is for you hosting multiple performance videos. So well done to you all. And the next lot goes out to Jessica in year 10 and Sophie also in year 10. And this is for your PB tech. And this is for your continuing, for you continuing to work and make rapid progress um, in the B tech class. And our last shout out for today goes out to Ellie in year seven. And this is from Mrs. Mike Paul. And it says for you showing excellent, resilient and completing your work even though it might have been very tough. I, I will now pass you over to Ms. Delva. Have a lovely day, y'all. Good morning, everybody. I will keep it short. Uh, we will never say this often enough. Please look after yourselves by doing the following. If there's nothing urgent for you <clears throat> to, take, to take you outside, you need to stay at home. Uh, wash your hands regularly. Keep fit and healthy with daily exercise. If you want to do your exercise outside, make sure that you stay two meters away from other people. Okay, so bye now and be safe. Have a good day, everybody.